What if a single missile could strike deep behind enemy lines before anyone even realizes a war has truly begun? What if the battlefield is already changing while commanders are still looking at their maps? Is Atacum's the most feared battlefield missile America has ever deployed power nation hub? Today, we are breaking down the MGM-140 Atacums, a weapon that doesn't just hit targets, it rewrites the rules of modern land warfare. Picture a quiet launch vehicle parked miles away from the front line. It doesn't look dramatic, no massive silo, no bomber roaring overhead, just a mobile launcher waiting. Then, in a matter of seconds, a missile ignites, screaming into the sky, accelerating faster than most aircraft, heading toward a target hundreds of kilometers away. By the time the enemy realizes what happened, the impact may already be over. Is this speed the true terror of ATACM's Power Nation Hub? ATACM's stands for Army Tactical Missile System, but that calm, technical name hides its real purpose. This missile was designed to give ground forces the power to strike deep, high-value targets without needing air superiority. Command centers, air defense systems, supply depots, airfields all suddenly vulnerable. Before ATACM's, such targets often required aircraft, risking pilots and complex missions. ATACM's changed that equation completely. Launched from the HIMARS or the M270 multiple launch rocket system, ATACM's turns artillery units into strategic strike assets. Think about that shift for a moment. Artillery was once about pounding nearby positions. ATACM's allows a commander on the ground to reach far beyond the horizon. Does that blur the line between tactical and strategic warfare power nation hub? Once launched, ATACM's follows a ballistic trajectory, arcing high into the atmosphere before descending on its target at extreme speed. This makes interception incredibly difficult. Air defenses are often optimized to deal with aircraft or cruise missiles, not fast, plunging. Ballistic threats. The window to react is tiny. For the target on the ground, there may be no warning at all. One of the most talked about aspects of ATACM's is its payload. Early versions carried cluster munitions designed to blanket wide areas, devastating troop concentrations, vehicle parks, and airfields. Later variants shifted toward unitary warheads, delivering a single powerful blast with high precision. This evolution reflects changing warfare and political realities, but the lethality remains undeniable. How do you defend against something that arrives so fast and hits so hard, Power Nation Hub? Accuracy is another reason ATACMS inspires fear. Guided by inertial navigation and GPS, it can strike within meters of its intended target. This isn't random destruction. It's deliberate, calculated, and precise. A single missile can neutralize a critical node in the enemy's war machine. Destroy the right radar, the right bridge, the right command bunker, and entire operations can collapse. Psychologically, ATACM's is a nightmare. Soldiers know they are far from the front, supposedly safe. Commanders believe their headquarters are well hidden. Then a missile launched from dozens or even hundreds of kilometers away ends that illusion instantly. There is no dogfight, no warning siren, no chance to run. Does fear itself become a weapon here, Power Nation Hub? What truly makes ATACM's dangerous is how easily it integrates into modern warfare networks. Targeting data can come from drones, satellites, radar systems, or forward observers. Information flows fast. Decision cycles shrink. A target spotted can become a target destroyed in minutes. This speed overwhelms traditional defenses and decision-making processes. Unlike massive strategic missiles, ATACMS is flexible. It can be fired quickly, relocated, and fired again. HIMARS launchers are highly mobile, capable of shoot-and-scoot tactics that make counterattacks difficult. By the time an enemy tries to respond, the launcher may already be gone. Is survivability one of ATACM's most underestimated strengths, Power Nation Hub? Critics sometimes argue that ATACM's is just another missile, one more tool in a crowded arsenal. But history suggests otherwise. Whenever ATACM's enters a conflict, it changes behavior. Enemy forces spread out, hide deeper, move slower. Air defenses are repositioned. Logistics become more cautious. A single weapon forcing an entire army to adapt is a sign of real power. There is also a strategic message embedded in ATACM's deployments. Possessing this missile signals technological superiority and deterrence. It tells adversaries that distance alone will not protect them. It tells allies that support can arrive without risking pilots or escalating to full-scale air campaigns. 
Is this why ATACMS occupies such a sensitive place in military discussions power nation hub? The missile's range has always been a topic of intense debate. Extended range versions push deeper into enemy territory, raising questions about escalation and red lines. A battlefield weapon that can strike so far starts to feel like something more than tactical. That ambiguity is part of its power and part of its controversy. From a technological perspective, ATACMS represents decades of refinement, solid fuel propulsion, hardened electronics, precision guidance, all designed to work under extreme conditions. This isn't experimental technology. It's proven, reliable, and terrifyingly effective. When commanders choose ATACMS, they do so with confidence. But no weapon exists in isolation. The rise of ATACMS has also driven advances in missile defense, electronic warfare, and counter-strike capabilities. Warfare is always a race. Offense improves, defense responds, and the cycle continues. Still, Atakums currently sits in a position where offense holds the upper hand. Another overlooked aspect is how Atakums empowers smaller units, a relatively small force, equipped with the right intelligence and a few launchers can achieve effects once reserved for large air forces. This democratization of strike power reshapes conflicts, especially in contested environments. Does this make future wars more unpredictable, power nation hub? As newer systems emerge, some wonder if ATACMS will eventually be replaced. But replacement doesn't mean irrelevance. Even as next-generation missiles appear, ATACMS remains a benchmark. It is the weapon others are compared against. Fast, precise, mobile, and brutally effective. Imagine being responsible for defending a rear area base, confident in your distance from the front. Then intelligence reports mention ATACMS in the region. Suddenly, nothing feels safe. Every fixed location becomes a liability. Every delay could be fatal. That constant pressure drains morale and resources. Isn't that a form of victory in itself, Power Nation Hub? ATACMS does not win wars alone, but it accelerates outcomes. It punishes mistakes instantly. It rewards good intelligence ruthlessly. In modern warfare, time and information are everything and ATACMS compresses both into a weapon that strikes before the enemy can think. So, is ATACMS the most feared battlefield missile America has? Fear comes from unpredictability, speed, and consequences. ATACMS delivers all three. It arrives without warning, hits with precision, and leaves devastation where confidence once lived. For soldiers, commanders, and planners on the receiving end, that fear is very real. As technology marches forward, the legacy of ATACMS will remain clear. It proved that the battlefield no longer has a safe depth. It showed that power can be launched quietly and arrive violently. And it reminded the world that in modern war, the most dangerous weapon might be the one you never see coming. That thought alone should make anyone pause and wonder, Power Nation Hub.